a, lo a Loveland woman is locked up tonight after police say she led them on a high-speed chase that injured two officers. Look at the graphic here. The chase followed a very twisty route on I-71 and routes 123, 48, and 350. The driver doubled back on her tracks three times during this pursuit. Nine on your side, reporter Amy Wattis joins us live with all the details. Amy? Julie, when you say high speed, we're talking about speeds over 120 miles an hour. Now, officers say the chase began after a trooper with the Ohio Highway Patrol discovered 43-year-old Benji Brown sleeping in a stolen van at the rest stop just north of the Ohio 123 exit on Interstate 71. She was in a blue Dodge Caravan with Massachusetts plates stolen from Dayton. When Brown saw the officer around 7 this morning, police say she took off on a wild chase, which was on Interstate 71, Ohio 48, Ohio 123, and Deerfield Road. During the chase in Mason near Kings Mills, an officer tried to stop her by using stop sticks. The officer got his hand tangled up in the cord, cutting his hand and arm. He was taken to a local hospital and released, but then... She gets back on going southbound on 71. And in approximately mile plus 22, she hits one of my officers, one of my troopers. Um, both of them go off the road and hit the median wall, at which point our officers secured her and uh, ended the whole thing. Brown was taken to the hospital and was treated for her injuries. She's now in the Warren County Jail facing multiple charges. Charges of felonious assault, resisting arrest, receiving stolen property, and reckless operation. Now, the OHP says troopers often check the license plates at rest stops, and they do this because they say a car thief is just as likely to stop at a rest stop there, take a rest just like anybody else, like you or I would be if we are traveling on the highway and decide to stop at the rest stop to take a rest as well. Amy Watt is not on your side, live from Mount Adams. Wild situation. Thank you, Amy. New right now.